Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So there's an existing story titled as my wife cheated on me with our son's baseball coach. Grab something to eat and let's start. Been married eight years, five and six year old kids. I've been madly in love the whole time as she's an amazing person and mother. Literally keeps the family together and is just dot 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 spectacular. Truly, she was showing me something on her phone and I saw a text come in saying I love you more. And I asked who it was. She explained it was a co-worker that she's been helping out. And I thought nothing more of it. That day, we had a lot of family over to celebrate. Our daughter's birthday and it was a wonderful time. Some stayed overnight. So the next day, after a wonderful weekend, getting company out and putting the kids down, my wife said she needs to tell me something. Well, that I love you more was not from her co-worker. Well, at least not the one she explained it was. But I'm not sure because she's not sharing any details regarding the other person. She told me that six months ago when I was in a dark place and have since come out of no drugs except weed and booze, which we both partake she found love in someone else. Love I wasn't providing in our relationship. If I have feelings for someone else, I'm not sure that I should be married. It's not fair to you or me. I never planned for this to happen. But now that it's a reality, we need to deal with it. She explained that she wasn't looking for someone else. It just happened. A friendship that bloomed into more. She's also told me that they have not been intimate and explained that as a sexual relationship. She says life is too short and she wants to be happy. She's proud of all the changes I've made and I've always been a good dad, but I've grown into a great daddy and my kids and I have never been closer. But she wants to be 100% happy and the changes of IV haven't gotten her there so she's seeking elsewhere she says this person may not be the 100 percent answer she worries that i'm at the best i can be and it's not enough yet she's not giving me specifics we've had a beautiful loving relationship we are known to be well out together and have our shit in line we'd be the last couple that folks would think this is happening to so lum devastated absolutely totally ripped apart and don't know what to do we own a house together what we're making payments on i carry no debt besides said home and she's in the same position we had a perfect life together and i'm suddenly being blindsided by this six month relationship where she has feelings for and thinks it's best we split i have no idea how to move forward i've told her she needs to let her family know what's going on so i can tell mine it's her cat to let out of the bag I'm just so sad for our kids. When we were dating and in marriage, cheating was the one thing that would break us. We both come from broken families and it was something never wanted for our kids. I am just so broken and later the next day, she came clean and said that she's been in a relationship for six months. This was back in October. She refused to tell me who it was with or what they've done. I was devastated, absolutely destroyed, still am. So we spent some time apart, and she continued her relationship with him. I did some digging in. The meantime, and looking at the phone records, it was our son's coach. I called her out on it, and she still continued the relationship. I saw a lawyer, and he told me to not leave the house or the kids and either try to work it out or time to leave and to see a therapist. My therapist says she's a narcissist and that I should protect myself, protect my kids, and run. Come December, she said she had cut it off with him and wanted to try again. I gave her all the effort in the world, but I don't feel like her soul's been in it. She's not overcompensating or has even truly apologized for what she's done. I've also gotten access to her photos. I'm the admin on the family Google account, and she doesn't know that I've seen all I have. She framed a picture of him and had it maybe still does at her desk. I found naked selfies she sent him that I haven't even received. I found a picture of his naked ass in our beach condo, which I thought was natural space as we were. Nothing sharing it during our time apart. I slept on those same sheets. I know that she was at a fancy restaurant with someone else. She screenshots all these deep love quotes that I know aren't about me dot 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 so much that love's rent free in my head. She has a white bracelet with one black bead that she now wears every day. I've called her out on it. She lied once, said it was from her mom, and up to last week said well the best friend has the matching one. Well, her affair partner wears an all black one eth one white bead. 
I know what that represents. Again, she doesn't know I've seen all these things. So now to current day. I can't place it find anything that suggests that she's still with him. But I know she used Snapchat often and is secretive with her phone. Whenever I bring up the affair, this blow up because I said I'd try to not bring it up and get over it. But I simply can't. I'm not rubbing it in. But it does come up when we argue, which is almost every week. We do really well for a bit, up to, and including intimacy. But then something happens, and we go back to shit. She cancelled our babysitter for trivia this past Tuesday. And for this Friday, where I got tickets for us to see a show. But she doesn't want to go, because I can't get over her affair. Her parents mom, and stepfather, both cheated on their spouses for each other, and support. My wife and both call and text me that it's unfair that I bring up her affair. The pictures of him life rent free in my head almost constantly. I can't get past what she's done now matter how hard I try. Well, long story short, I literally just caught her at the family condo with the AF and have photos and video of his truck, his belongings in the home, and her coming out of the master where he stayed behind a closed door. I also went into our shared car that she drove and it was left unlocked in the parking garage with an open high noon on the cup holder and her wallet and belongings still in it. She came home and tried to talk. It was calm conversation, but she kept saying it was my fault and if I communicated with her last. Night I gray rocked her maybe she wouldn't have been with him. So I communicated that I will be home later this afternoon, evening, so she's unexpectedly watching the kids today. I wanted to hang with them, as she took them away from me yesterday to go do activities and I would do separate activities today. However, Lum not emotionally able to give the kids the best of me right now, and I definitely don't want to be around her. Elle asked if she could sleep in a kid's room, and she got upset and stated that our bed is her bed and she will sleep where she wants. I said obviously dot dot dot. I've been for a six mile walk already and have been calling and leaving the MS at all the lawyers around. I know I can't abandon the home, but I can't be around them after what I just saw this AM. Thank all of you who responded earlier this week and suggested Grey Rock and 180 for me. I implemented them and I guess it drove her to this, but I'm officially divorcing her and there's no going back. Legal counsel told me to no contact her, so that's what I'm doing. She texted me last night all about how she hasn't asked for a second chance, even though I've given them, and she loves me. And she now is willing to do therapy and share her locations and access to her phone and can't see rocking on the porch with that 80. Yada yada. When I got home last night, she was in the master, so I slept upstairs. This AM, no communication. She wouldn't even look at me. Yesterday, when I caught them with video, I saw his hat and it noticed it was a local landscaper. So I called to see if he worked there. He does. Okay, thanks. That was it. This MF just called me saying, if I want to talk to him, here's his number. Don't call my boss. I said I have nothing to say to you. He replied, and I have nothing to say to you, and hung up. Also her mom reached out and said how. I must be devastated, and she's so sorry, and to call her when I have a chance. I'm going to continue my no contact with everyone and let my lawyer once I secure one do all the talking. This is so damn hard. This is the full story. I hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe, like, follow me for more stories and you won't regret.